Welcome back to Rural Vacant Land where we have cheap, easy land. Today I'd like to show you a property, four acres that I'm asking for $100 a month on for 29 months. People are always asking me for terms. Uh, so here's, here's a nice one with terms, $100 a month for 29 months. No credit check. I mean, it's online checkout. Let's see here. You just go to the link in the description of this video below and there's a buy it now button. You click on that and uh, you can fill out your information. It's basically what you want the land owned in, what name do you want it in. You could have it in your kid's name or whatever, right? Hit next, put your credit card information in there and you can start using the land today. So let's talk about the property. This one is four acres. It's in Cochise County, Arizona. Cochise County is uh, southeastern, sorry, south, yeah, southeastern corner of Arizona. Let's pull up the map. I'll show you where we're at. Um, got the legal description on the property got taxes are about a hundred dollars a year there's no time limit to build there's no fees included in this transaction no closing fees no recorder fees title fees real estate all you know all these fees that normal real estate people love to charge you I mean I, I just throw those out the window because it's going from from me to you it's for sale by owner land um, it's easy I've got uh, descriptions in here of like where the post office and gas station and you know groceries and schools and uh, and that kind of stuff are some a bunch of how-to stuff on my website of how to go set up a property like this and how to use it and things like that and uh, what happened to my map here we go so I clicked on the map and it shows a pin in uh, the field right so it's next to some crop circles. There's some farmers fields over here. They they're getting water somewhere and there's also a lake over here. Now this lake is mostly dry. I'm not saying this is like, you know, where you go water skiing or something. It's not that kind of lake, but it water does collect in this pan and um it creates a habitat for birds. And the birds love this thing. There's that's what I'd like to talk about. This Wilcox, here's the town just to the north of this lake has a festival that starts this weekend. If you're watching this like really current, you know, just published, today's Tuesday, this festival I think is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It's Martin Luther King weekend coming up. It's a long weekend for lots of people. This weekend's got the birding festival. This is when the sandhill cranes come into this lake. And um, I mean, they fly right over the property. You're gonna see these things flying by. And they're, they're like the you know, Boeing 747 of birds. They're big guys, <laughs> you know, and they come in here. And so the sandal cranes are big ones, but there's also a lot of a lot of smaller birds that come into the area. And why do why do I care about the birds? It's because I grew up in Michigan and in the winter the birds leave. And in the spring the birds come back. And that's one of the best signs of spring is to see the robins show up or, you know, cardinals or blue jays, whatever kind of bird it is different birds in different areas the birds show up in the spring right when you're in the north but when you're trying to get away from the snow and the cold and and shoveling and de-icing your car you know starting your car up a half an hour before you can go somewhere so the seats aren't frigid cold this is where the birds went the birds went south they went to some of them went to Wilcox and they went to this area and so I think that's why you should look at this area because the birds can go anywhere they want and they go here because it's warm, it's nice, there's, you know, it's just a good place for them to go. And so this property is not in the the floodplain of this thing, it's off to the side. And there's little roads around the area, it looks like somebody else built a house over here. So you're not going to be the only one, there's power lines going to that one, I think there's power lines coming down this route. And these trails come around, but they don't go all the way to the property. So you get four acres in here, you have to cut the trail the last little bit of the way. So if we go back to the listing, there's some diagrams. Well, let's see. You know, it's a t it started out as a 20-acre property, and I split it five ways. And so this is parcel C that I'm talking about in this video. So it goes A, B, C. It's the middle one here. So it's 256 feet north to south and 660 feet east to west. And I can give you GPS coordinates of the thing if you like. Um, GPS coordinates on the website should put you to the center of that property you can measure it out from there it's another way of doing it so got a couple different diagrams in here I think but a couple different uh, ways of showing the the property in the in the pictures and then we'll go to um, this this is the original 20 acres 
night I have a Ravon this 20 acres next to it so I put easements in along this one so you can get past or you know, across this one to get to this one I got this one too, so I got easements on that. So I can show you the easement lines to get to your property off of these little roads. Um, so you can get in there. Let's pull off um, a bit bigger map. But you can see people are farming like right next door. So they've obviously got well water. And there's, there's some bush in the area. I mean, it's not like vacant, vacant. I mean, there's bush, so you could go build in between the bush. But I don't think it's going to be crazy enough stuff that you can't drive through there if you have some determination maybe a brush guard on the front of your truck or something let's move on so here's wings over Wilcox website and this is let's see if they say the the dates I know it's this weekend it's um I don't see the dates but uh, you know like last year or what is this 2018 one nine oh so here's a bunch of bird counts these are like live bird counts or counting quail Dove, dove, woodpeckers, kestrel, a um, whole bunch of different kinds of birds. These people are counting these birds. And this website's keeping up. And all kinds of, hey, we saw this and we saw that, and all these different kinds of birds. You know, 2018, 1 7. These are, this is a lot of bird counting here. 1 3. I mean, <laughs> you know, so all these different birds. Uh, Tohi, sparrows, juncos, duck-eyed juncos, hermit thrush. I mean, bird after bird after bird. I don't know what all these birds are. I know some of them, but I don't know anywhere near all these. So that's uh, it's a one one activity that's out of my realm. But you know, seeing these birds gives me the idea and the picture of what they're looking for. I mean, look at the colors in this thing. Where did that guy come from? You know, what's their normal range? They're probably living in Canada or something, coming down here for the winter. You could do that too with your own property for $100 a month. Um, I pulled up Wings Over Wilcox on Instagram. There wasn't a whole lot there. I pulled up uh, Cochise County. These guys have been posting a lot of pictures recently. Explore Cochise on Instagram. And they're showing off the Sandhill Crane. So here's a picture of Sandhill Crane. This is this is what we're talking about. Um, they're... They say 25,000 sandhill cranes between October and February as they make their way south during the winter migration. Their presence joins birders together for an annual birding festival, Wings Over Wilcox. They got field trips, seminars, plenty of feathered friends. So that doesn't say the uh, the dates of the thing either, but I'm pretty sure it's this weekend. Here's some big wide open skies going on in the area. These are pictures taken in the area. There's some of the mountains in the area. I'm not exactly sure which mountains those are. If you go on Instagram, you can look up Explore Cochise, and you can see here's here's an idea of that lake. So this is the lake that's just up the way from the property, and then this is going to be you know the lowest elevation of the lake. So there's there's a couple um, ducks in there, and um, you don't call these ducks. You call them coots. I think American coots. I know I have my birds right. Um, they're talking about the high mountains and cooler temperatures. Now, here we go. Cochise County, Arizona is for the birds. High mountains and cooler temperatures and unexpected southern delight. They're talking about cooler temperatures than Phoenix and that part of Arizona, but not cooler than northern north northern U.S. And elegant trogons to hummingbirds, falcons to the more than 25,000 sandhill cranes migrating through Wilcox. Come see them in the Wings Over Wilcox Festival, January 11th through 14th. So today's the 9th. Yeah, it, it's this weekend, 11th through 14th. Bring your binocs and boots. Find out why birds and people flock to this southeastern Arizona destination. So that's pretty cool. So they're promoting the area. And uh, here's another picture of the birds. Here's some of the uh, countryside. So you can see some bush and grass and, and trees and houses off to the to the side. So this kind of land, I mean, there's not any houses right around where you're at. Well, there's one a ways off, but not right next to it. So you're going to be, this is probably the north end of the lake. You're going to be at the south end of the lake. And they're talking about this same stuff, different picture. So I just thought that was interesting. So if you'd like your own four acres so you can go do what you want with it, Here's another piece of the lake. Hundred dollars a month 
It's easy as that. For 29 months, and the property is yours. I'll do all the paperwork, get it in your name. If that's the right one for you, click the link below. It'll take you to my, my website. Buy it now. Fill out your information. Um, there's a couple next to it. You could buy two if you wanted to group them together. Um, and uh, feel free to go for it. Let me know if I can help. LukeSmithRuralVacantLand.com Thank you.